Hello Year 11s, the pre-release is finally out. It's all about the tidal barrage in Morecambe Bay and I thought I'd make two videos of how to write a good nine mark question for two different hypothetical questions that might come up. On the first one here, I'm going to look at how you can do a top level two answer which looks around six to seven marks and I'll explain why only six to seven marks. And then in the next video, I'll make one about how to get full marks, level three, nine out of nine. Okay, so Regardless of how you want to approach this question, the first thing you need to do is think about who the stakeholders are. Who are the winners and losers? Who's going to be for and against? And the main ones from the pre-release are the Northern Tidal Power Gateways in TPG, which is the organisation that has put forward the plans. There's environmental groups like the RSPB and the Wild Cumbria Wildlife Trust. There's governments, and they may be worth thinking between at different scales. So the Cumbrian and uh, Lancashire uh, local city councils and regional uh, governments, as well as the national government down in Westminster. There's local residents who might be divided as to for and against, and there's local business owners who will also have their own opinion on the matter. So how would you answer a nine mark question? So previously, uh, an easy nine mark question that has been asked quite a fair few times in the past few years is a simple, do you think the gateway project should go ahead, yes or no, and then you have to answer. So there's two ways to do it. There's a very simple option, which is paragraph for, paragraph against. And there's a, what we call uh, in my school a balance option, which is we mix the yes and the no's together. I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. So in the, if you use a simple option, you can do paragraph one point. First point, yes, it'll bring a range of socioeconomic opportunities to the northwest of England. If you evidence, you need to use data from NTPG and a figure two and three. Then you'd explain how these opportunity, opportunities would benefit the northwest and be economically sustainable. Counterpoint would be to say, well, furthermore, or however, it will also bring environmental benefits, not just socioeconomic. You explain how these benefits would help the area environmentally. And then in paragraph two, you'd say, well, no, the project would be environmentally unsustainable. You'd use data from the RSPB to explain the negative environmental type of their impact and how they're not sustainable. And then you say, however, furthermore, it has economic disadvantages too. And you'd explain how these disadvantages are economic, okay? Right, so here's a model paragraph for the yes. In this case, you'd say um, you'd have to make your first point. Your first point would be, I believe that the tidal gateway should go ahead um, as it will transform the northwest of England. That's a quote from uh, the, the pre-release. Then add data from the NTPG and say, according to the NTPG in figure two, this 10 billion project will generate 13,000 jobs, generate 20 billion pounds over, over 20 years. That's data from figure three, whilst providing energy or two million homes. Really nice use of data from figure two and figure three. Then the key thing, and that's where you get most of your points, is in the ACE, or to ACE your answer, you have to ex and analyze that, those point and evidence, counterpoint it, and give it an explanation. So here's your analysis. Well, figure three suggests this project will facilitate the development, development of new industries and enable existing ones to expand, which will have a positive multiplier effect. All in all, these opportunities will contribute to the regeneration of Lancashire and Cumbria, especially deprived areas like Barrow and Furness, really showing you've understood the pre-release. Okay, Then you counterpoint, saying, well, furthermore, or however, the Tidal Gateway will also bring some environmental benefits by investing in renewable energy. Using data there, you'd say data in figure three suggests that this that improvements in transport links will save £250 million a year, reduce fuel consumption by 750,000, I suppose to say 1,000 litres each year, and save £370 million a year by generating emission-free energy. You then explain this by saying this means it will help to mitigate the causes of climate change and in turn protect the area from future flooding and storm surges. As a result, sites of spe special scientific interest and areas of outstanding natural beauty located in Morecambe Bay under the estuary will be preserved for future generations. Really thorough piece paragraph. Second par paragraph would then say, well, however, your point, it could be argued the tidal gateway should not go ahead due to its environmental impact. Evidence, a bit less tangible data and evidence, but you can still quote as evidence. Figure three explains that Morecambe Bay under the estuaries are areas of high biodiversity, which support a low range of species and include sites of special scientific interest and areas of outstanding natural beauty. Um, your analysis would then say, well, as a result, this proposal will disturb large amount of marine wildlife uh, and birds, thus posing significant risks to sensitive environments such as Leighton Moss and South Walney Nature Reserves, which are part of RSPB. In, that's in figure two. This will threaten Morecambe Bay's unique ecosystem of mudflats and wetlands, which could be a hammer blow to the tourism industry in the area. As tourists ultimately come and see the wildlife if you wreck it. 
Okay, tourists are going to stop coming, uh, coming, and that's going to be the worst thing for the area because there's already not that much economic opportunity. Okay, so your counterpoint or your um, your other point would say, furthermore, however, this project will also bring negative economic impact on Barrow and Furness, a town that has already struggled, that already struggles with young people moving away because of lack of job prospects. You'd explain why, and you say, well, improvements in local infrastructure will not only take 25 years to achieve, but once, compl once completed, um, could make the economic situation of places like Barrow and Furness worse as people leave the areas to work in Morecambe and Lancashire, uh, Lancaster. In turn, will increase the high, this will in turn increase the high level of poverty and ill health, thus preventing the regeneration that, um, that was claimed to happen in the first place. Okay, so you kind of make a really clear counterpoint. If you did do the balanced option, that's much higher level. Uh, it's much harder to do, but you just basically do uh, you you cross the paragraphs over. You'd say paragraph one. You'd say yes, it should be built for socio-economic reasons. However, there's also some socio-economic disadvantages, and you'd explain them. And then on the second paragraph, you'd all go to town on the environment and say no, environmentally it's unsustainable. And then you counterpoint that by saying, however, it can still bring environmental benefits because. And so I'll let you go through that yourself. But I've basically got the point analysis, evidence and analysis of paragraph one, with the counterpoint and explanation of paragraph two in my from the balance uh, from the simple option. And then same thing here in paragraph two, I've got the point evidence and analysis of my um, environmental. Uh, negatives, but I counterbalance that with some uh, a counterpoint and explanation of my environmental benefits. And all in all, should give you a really nice, well argued, well um, well um, defended argument as to why the gateway project should or shouldn't go ahead. Obviously, don't forget to give your opinion at the very end because ultimately they want your opinion. That's a really nice basic start to the paper three nine marker.